Hey everybody, this is Donald with Johnny's Used Cars. Today I'm showing this 2005 Nissan Fuga 350 GT. Uh, this is the Sport Edition or something like that. Yeah, the Sports uh, Edition. All right, uh, it's got uh, almost 55,000 kilometers on it, which is only 34,000 miles. Before we get started, like let you know that we do have on the lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on the website right now will not be the final price on the lot. Um, also, if you're arriving to Okinawa soon or you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny's Used Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get yourself a driver's license, there are benefits of doing it that way. Okay? So with that, let's go ahead and take a look around. We'll show the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos. I'm going to answer a lot of your questions. So things like the JCI, the warranty, the financing, I cover all that and more. So please bear with me until the end. You'll have all the answers. If not, go and contact me or stop on by. This Nissan Fuga 350 GT is a five passenger vehicle in the 300 series category, so the larger category. Road tax per year is gonna be 19,000 yen, which is about $140 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May time frame. So we'll take care of it for you this year. You won't have to worry about it until next. Now you do, uh, you do have two options to pay for it. First one being US dollars cash outright, which could get you a larger discount. Or you can take advantage of zero percent financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down, reduce your overall monthly payments. You can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more. Up to you. Before we go inside, I always like showing the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit. This way, if it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. More important feature benefit is you can give you that cross ventilation, you get that extremely hot air out, and always get yourself a good windshield visor. Okay, get these bugs. I don't know where all these bugs just came from. All right, so let's jump on in. And you can see it has a, a tear in the seat. Um, we'll take care of that, okay? So this, these focus have two quirks, that one, that being one of them, and the headliners. The headline, headliner is more than likely gonna fall. So um, so it does have this, uh, and I'm gonna touch on that in a minute. Uh, it does have the um, a place here for your keys. So as long as they're on your purse or in there, on your person, you can just go ahead and foot on the brake and push this one time, and it goes, okay? And that goes right back down here, all right? Let's go winch us in. 54,804 on the odometer. Showed a couple of uh, warning lights. That one right there, you can just barely see it. That, that's your um, seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do give tickets on and off base. And then that one up there is your emergency brake. It's not a low pressure tire gauge. I know it looks similar, but it isn't. Uh, but it is a kick tight. So when you kick it, disengage, it goes away. Kick it again, comes right back on. Other than that, it's a very simple, straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. I think pops up on the dash while you're driving. Please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action, okay? Off to the left here, left here you do have your uh, monitor. This one does have a rear camera. And then behind the shifter, or uh, it has a side camera, so you can park within an inch of the curb, all right? Uh, then you have your um, all your controls up here. It's going to be for the air conditioning. This is all the Navi stuff, and then your uh, radio, uh, your shifter, ashtray lighter, just a little maybe slot for some coins or whatnot. Right. There you go, uh, cup holders, and then your uh, center console. What? Oh, that's not good. Look at that, it all came apart. Oh, there you go. All right. Push that in. All right, I don't know why that's, I don't know why that's uh, getting hooked up there. So we're gonna, we'll get that fixed, all right? And as you've known, I do bloopers and everything. So we'll get that fixed. I'm not sure why that was sticking, but uh, you do have a compartment here and it's gonna give you an extra uh, a power outlet down there and a tray up here, for, maybe for some coins again. That is really weird. I don't know why that's doing that. All right, don't know. All right, continuing off to the left, uh, you do have your glove box here. A um, little bit of storage in each door panel. That is your passenger space over there. You got your red road flare hanging out. Then this is the space I have on my side. I am 511, as everybody loves knowing. The seat is all the way back, all the way down. Um, I could drive as is or slide it up a couple inches and still be comfortable driving. Uh, you do have a um, um, compartment here for sunglasses. Now let's go eye level. That's my eye level right there. Really can't see anything past the windshield wipers like in most vehicles. Okay. Now normally this is the time I show you the auction sheet showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Keep that in mind, please. Non-accident vehicle from mainland. All these other deals out here can't say that. We can for all of our vehicles. But because it just came in, I keep those inside. Once it's been detailed, I'm going to put it up here on the sun visor on the driver's side. Getting back to this headliner, they all fall. They, they, uh, we, there's a uh, guy that repairs them. He said they're going to fall within two years. So, And they normally start right from up here. All right? Don't know why. It's, a, it's, a, it's just a quirk with the Fugas. Kind of like with the dashes cracking on the skylines, crowns, and everything else. Okay? That's why I'm an information guy. 
all right so I'll show you a couple other things before we go to the back seat uh, this one on the side here is your etc reader electronic toll collector this works like easy pass in the states if you're able to get the card for it for the expressway over here and then you have a uh, on the right side of the dash you know you do have your trunk release and then your mirror controls little pocket here for some coins or whatnot this one has a little i don't even know what you put there i don't know and then underneath there you have your uh, hood release on the door you do have a couple memory settings for your seat and door lock and mirrors all right or door lock and windows i always call the windows mirrors for some reason and then to turn it off your foot doesn't have to be in a brake you just push that one time and it goes off all right here's the back all right yeah this is a really really nice one so with the seat all the way back all the way down i'm a good four inches away from the back seat to my knees um you got pocket storage on each seat back as always be careful what you put in there you don't want to break it on each end nothing as far as storage on the door panels but you do have uh, a little power outlet here the all important um uh, vents back here and then uh, you do have this compartment that's going to give you two cup holders okay and that goes back up and getting back to the heads, uh, headliner real quick as I'm walking down to the trunk, uh, everybody says, well, why do we keep getting them uh, if they keep falling? Because people actually want these. They, uh, some people don't mind. I don't know. Uh, but uh, they're very, very popular cars. Got a lot of power, really comfortable. Even the 250s are pretty comfortable, all right? So nice size trunk there. Let's uh, go up front here, show you the engine compartment. We're going to wrap this video up. And this is going to be one of the main reasons. This is the engine. This is a 3.5 liter engine, which will be cleaned during the detailing process. It's the same one they put in that one, okay? In the uh, Tudor Skylines. So it's got a lot of power for a luxury car. All right, so there you have it. Um, 2005 uh, Nissan Fuga 350 GT. 55,000 kilometers on it, only 34,000 miles. That is it. Uh, military price goes down to 6,100 with an additional military discount. We'll get it down to 5,900. Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on a lot discounts, and you will get a lower price on this. But for now, the uh, 5,900 will include a two year JCI, the one year bumper to bumper full warranty, the 2022 road tax, and a 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top is going to be the American insurance requirement, whether you're going liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Uh, touching on the warranties out here real quick. Yes, there are two-year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread. Don't be fooled by them. Stop on by, we'll explain why. Um, but we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealers, see what they have. But definitely stop by Johnny's Used Cars. Let us show what we have, what our program's all about, and how we can assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. Stop on by, we'll show you why, like we have many, many others. So don't forget, two ways to pay for it, U.S. dollars cash outright, or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Either way, we're good to go. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.